See the game more clearly with high-definition spectacle lenses from Norville Opticians. Conditions didn't help in that game, Tom, but did Gloucester help themselves in the first quarter of that match? Um, no, it was, well, it was tough. It was tough for both sides. It's, it was pretty windy out there and it was obviously coming down pretty heavy at time, the rain in parts of the game, but we knew it was going to be tough and a couple of errors in the first half really cost us, but I think the boys really stuck together and we, we battled there for the full 80. It was, it was through no lack of effort that I think that game was a bit unfortunate to come out with nothing, I think. One of those games we've been talking to Charlie Sharp was one of those games maybe where uh, you benefited from playing in the pack because you certainly didn't feel the cold. Plenty of work to do. Yeah, I'm quite glad I wasn't stuck out on that wing. Yeah, we could stick head in the scrum in the mall and there was, there was plenty of that to get to get stuck into so yeah it was, it was a massive forwards battle and w w we competed that in that really well and it's just it's one of those days where you don't really want the ball and it's turn the team around turn the team around and force a mistake and they did it to a couple of times and it's it was pretty costly mistakes were key in the game because uh, it sounds a ridiculous thing to say but uh, a couple of mistakes taken out of the equation and, and there was not a lot between the two teams yeah the, the score line was fairly narrow towards the end I think it showed that the the win the win was a big factor in that and it was like I said in the first half we just had to retain the ball retain the ball and if they if they put it on us we need to sit, hang on to it but we, we, we lost we lost possession a couple of times and a couple of chip throughs charged down and all of a sudden you're under the cosh a little bit into the change room you knew you had a lot to do uh, three tries but did, did you think well, coming out that look we can use the wind exactly the same and pull all those points back I think you could tell by our body language I think we, we come out that second half really to, to go and challenge them and do what they did to us I think we're just about sneaking that, that set piece battle so we're really really trying to, to stick it to them in that and then go from there and try and build a bit of a score Oh, it's got to be a positive out of the fact that they didn't uh, cross the line or score any points in the second half. Yeah, I think that well, that is it. We, there's a massive, a massive effort from the boys, a squad effort. The bench again came on and made a huge impact, and we've just got to build on the positives going into the, these next couple of Europe games. And the next couple of Europe games important. I mean, conditions. We've got to be hoping that we don't get any more rain this week because uh, there'll be a good crowd at King's Home for the home game against La Rochelle. Yeah, certainly will. We had a we had a tough game against them away, and I expect exactly the same at home. Uh, the pitch is obviously going to be wet everywhere, it's wet at the moment, but it's. I mean, it's, we're going to have to get our heads around and uh, it's something I'm going to look forward to. Let's hope it's a bit warmer than it was today, though. Oh, I'm fine when you're running outside. It's, I think it's more like you guys who, who are stuck watching the wind and the cold. A disappointing result, Tom, but uh, positives to take from it. Yeah, plenty of positives. I think this team's definitely going in the right direction. We'll keep building.